after the dressing change has been performed and it's time to reapply the socks back on the limb, it helps to roll the socks up into a kind of donut shape as Tom is demonstrating here. Uh, it'll just help prevent the dressing from being as disrupted as we roll the sock up over the limb like so, uh, and also tends to be a little less painful for the patient. Make sure that you're pulling the socks up as high on the thigh as they can go to protect that skin up there and prevent them from getting caught in the body of the cast. Make sure that you are always reapplying the same number of socks as you found the patient in. The AIM staff has applied a certain number of socks on purpose to help cushion and pad the cast and make sure that it's maintaining the correct fit. Have the patient hold their limb up high in the air, knee straight. Tom's showing you the base of the cast. You wanna make sure the very end point of the patient's limb makes contact with the base of the cast there. That's a common error that we see in reapplication of the cast, that there is a gap left between the bottom of the patient's limb and the base of the cast. What Tom is doing now, he was checking to make sure that the patient's kneecap was sitting right in the middle of the window that's been made for it in the lid of the cast. If you put the cast on and notice the kneecap is sitting against one side of the window or the other, kind of against the edge, you wanna reposition it to make sure that you're not gonna get any rubbing at the kneecap. Tom is now reapplying the straps to hold the lid of the eye pop in place. Notice as he does that, instead of really, you know, he's tightening the straps, but he's really pushing down with his hand to compress the lid of the eye pop against the base to uh, push the edges together and make sure that it's on there nice and snug. We wanna do this instead of yanking on the straps just to prevent any damage to the straps and to also provide the best fit. So make sure you're pushing down with your hand to compress the lid down on the base. We wanna make sure the straps are all going in the right direction. They need to pass through that ring like so and tighten all the way. We want there not to be any gaps between the lid and the base of the cast. Tom's pulling the socks down now over the top brim of the cast to one, protect the patient's skin, but two, to make sure that the socks aren't all bunched up inside of the cast either.